Day three. Sweet. So I like that. How it just teleport us back. I guess. We closed out that day. On boards downstairs, the patch window. Back to work. All right, let's get down there. Hey, Henry. Uh oh. Yeah. The snow. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh. Like well, Burt Reynolds. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. <laughs> wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Hop over. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, actually, me though. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. Wait, what? I Where's? Do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. What is going on? A uh, pretty thick beard. Thick. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. Uh, I can't find the last piece of wood. Oh, there it is. I thought it was fixed there for a second. I was like, no way. I got the window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and, uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. <laughs> I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Harry. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning oh well regardless take a seat the forest depends on you day nine whoa that, that sped up fast <laughs> damn dude you ate that Hello, in two Henry. bites having a nice afternoon always not too bad could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Uh -oh. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. Oh boy. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then yeah, they definitely are because I heard their the last names. Person to have seen them. Uh, I... You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. 
Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I definitely say something. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry. Thanks. Enjoy the sunset. <laughs> day 15. Jeez. That's really going through the days. So we went from day 3 to 9 to 15. Henry. Henry, wake up. Oh, it's night. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? You big dumb idiot. What? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Oh, what? Mm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Wait, what? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. What? Day 33. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it went from, what, what was that, 15? And now 33? So half a month later. Hike north to retrieve supplies. In the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my supply drop. Okay. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. Hmm. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> nice. And so, nothing. like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. Hmm. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, look, so a couple of months before I took this job, I, <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a okay. driller down in Casper. Okay. We dated for almost five years. Almost at the supply I drop. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And Oof. for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here, I lied, and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So. Ouch. I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. <sighs> I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64. Jeez. An entire month from that. Um, real quick, I'm gonna go grab some more water 
and then uh, afterwards we'll continue. So. You've got a front oh God. Yep, BRB. All right, I am back. Go ahead and continue here. Front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh, great. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? <laughs> uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably <laughs> ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. The flapjack so fire. It's actually hill, called that. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with Let's a bottle of this tequila one. near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Three. You'd like it there. Four. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. What? Let me know when you are. One chance to die. Interesting. I can't take any of this. I'll take a note. Wait, where'd it go? Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. Oh boy. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. All right. Uh, uh, I don't know. What? What could we do? Well, let me oh God. You. Wait, wait, I'm trying to get to the fire. Day 76, okay. <laughs> Oh man. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. <laughs> Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, how do we do this? Wait, do I just pull the fishing pole out? P. 
P-O... Okay, maybe I go to a different part. A uh, clipboard. Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? Okay, it's strange noise. I'm oh god. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. <laughs> uh, let's just let me know. Birds okay, Canyon. Buckaroo? We're here. Oh god. I don't know why I just called you that. I found a walkie-talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It's Ow. What the Oh god. Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I Holy hell, I just I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? Why would they take know. the radio? Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, a PD? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti. Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, I mean this way. Right. that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. What? This just. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Yeah. It was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've Three, been feeling four. okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship. Friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? <laughs> oh, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. Wait, actually. Wait, where's that camera? Yeah. What are these little things? Patch rope. Down we go. I'm really enjoying this game so far. So we're about um, at the time of this. Uh, one hour and 37 minutes into it. Uh, it's very cool for the story. I like how they communicate with each other. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, I feel like you could spend hours playing yeah. this game. How big? Like more big. than what I've been doing so far. Both directions, acres. What, what the fuck is going on out here? 
Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. And what are the odds they left the gate? I can't get in. I don't know how long it's going to be around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that game down in two shakes. Hey, <laughs> actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Uh, wait, where are they at? He's all the way up there. What? Cool canyon. Okay, so I guess I just have to go back. I mean, the game's pretty open world, but at the same time, it's pretty linear too, because you just go the paths that you didn't take the first time, which is cool. Somebody's gonna like come around and cut it. Go. Is this the uh, correct way? I'm hoping so. Look for a controlled burns south of Ruby River. Wait, where's Ruby River though? Supply drops up there. Eight. Is he like? All the way down there, really? Scout camp. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll just keep going this way then. Nice and peaceful out here. What is that though? What? What is this fog? There's like stuff falling. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? Nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that is maybe red. someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Hailing me, following me around, like working with other people? Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. <laughs> someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I, I just... Just admit it, you're a little worried. Of course, I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. Okay. <laughs> but still, like, you gotta admit it. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Yeah, 
had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But if it's the missing guy. I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, we're almost there, sort of. This is one of our longer days out here. Not bad, though. Let's keep on moving through the forest here. I think it's just pretty much straight south from here. Oh god. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Damn. So... Ah, okay. Earlier. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Southeast right there. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone Wait, gets fired. Minute? Are you serious? A wrecked oh, snowmobile? That was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but... Given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork pond. This? There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, oh. well, folks kept stealing it. So, <laughs> is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, it is. Just keep heading east. You're okay. across a small ravine, and you shouldn't be able to miss it. East, that way, yep. Do, 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 do. Broken bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Arapaho. Yeah. <laughs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a tree that's about to be cut down. I bet you we're gonna find like a axe or something soon so we can cut down these trees. Is this the right way? No. Because yeah, that could easily be a pathway right there. Same thing with right there. Can we jump across here? Oh. Scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. 
Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the Weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Huh. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? What? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always nice. said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. us. They're researching us. You, you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Well, fuck that. It's Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are. At least, where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. What? All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um... There isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Day 77, jeez. <laughs> okay. Well. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Someone's out here. Oh, boy. You can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's Hi. talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Damn flora poster. Is that this guy? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just... Wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. This Nothing guy? like an afternoon in the Rockies. I, I can tell tree you. to the left, right? Radio me the moment you get there. Go to Cottonwood Tree.
All right. Where's it at, though? Cottonwood Creek. Oh, okay. Bottom right. So it's south east southwest from me. Southwest. So that way. All right, let me just make sure. Trying to find the best trail to get there. Is this gonna work? Yep, okay, good. Oh, that's that giant tree that I saw earlier then. I know what that is. Yeah. That's the one that we walked we walked through and then um we heard the guy coughing. Go to Cottonwood Creek. I'm here. I keep going this way. A cool looking area. It reminds me, it, these, all these pink flowers kind of remind me of, uh... Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Ugh. You see the cash Sad. box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Oh, there it is. 5678. Six, seven, eight. Ah. Just one stream match. Tect. Aha. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. You are... Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? You're in on this. I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? it makes any sense. I 
there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Oh, great. <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Why are there are a sure? ton of rocks like this? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. I just changed clothes laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Okay. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Uh oh. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Wait, it's, a, it's south, right? So it's this way. Oh, wait, I missed it. Ah, oh, damn it. But I feel like we're gonna find those girls' dead bodies. All right, we just hit that two hour mark. Oh boy. Let's see. heard some movement there's more movement Oh, shoot. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I totally am. I just went to... Oh, my God. Wait. Where is this place? Oh, my gosh. I was going to the camp down here. Shoot. I went to the scout camp. And it's literally the complete opposite way. It's all the way up there. Ugh. Damn it. Luckily it doesn't take too long to go between most of these. It's very atmospheric. Fourteen left. I'm gonna try to use all of them. Cause why not? <laughs> they gave it to you. I'm sure. I have a feeling like when the credits roll or something, you'll see the the pictures that you took. 
or something like that. All right, so uh, to the left here. All right, so it's all the way at the top left. I wish you get fast travel back places. That's okay though. All right, so we're back here now. And let's see, so yeah, keep following this trail. That explains why she didn't say anything while we were making our way there. Okay, so here's the first crate we found. Alright, what about right here? I guess just keep going straight. This way. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. How about you don't do that again? Wait, what? Does it say attach rope? I'm looking at the rope. <laughs> All right, down we go. Nope. Nice. about now we're getting there is there a path to the right that we can take I think it would be a little bit faster What's up, guy? How you doing, man? This is where we got knocked out that one time. There we go. All right, this time we're almost there. Peace. <laughs> Climb down. Hopefully the axe that we picked up will actually get us in. I don't see why not. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Open lid. Pick up. 
You're trying to reach Dr. Simmons. He is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility. I just got stung. Equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Interesting. Of course, that's night, too. Where the sun's going down. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. The ground is like freaking out. Oh god. Now oh, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? I'm in their main tent. What's it like? Yo, what's it's going on, Hot Prize? Some sort of monitoring station. <laughs> Working so I can't stay, but I just want to stop and say play one of my favorite games. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know what's funny? Every time uh, I pulled this up, like when I started, I was like, yeah, I remember you said you, you're going through some times when you played it originally, and it was one of your like favorite games, so I remembered that. I just wonder where but appreciate are. you stopping by. Their stuff is here. I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. I'm really enjoying it so far. And get out. Caught. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? I found their main monitoring desk. Oh my god, what do you see? Seriously, at this stage, I'm Enjoy it. Peace out. All right, have a good one, man. Earthquake. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle. Like a oh, thank you for the follow as well. Appreciate it. You mean like a lie detector? Why I'm the sound didn't go off. get hooked up to it. I'll check into that later. Okay. We have a lie detector out here. Here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Okay. So I keep thinking somebody's going to show up behind me any the second. Of four distinct subjects. You and me. Uh, yeah, definitely me, and I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Maybe. It's possible, what? right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. There's some sort of monitor. I don't know what it does. Maybe air quality or I something? I keep turning. <laughs> Maybe they're keeping down. You think somebody's going to show up behind the there? That looks possible. This is crazy. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Put this open. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, what if this is like set a set up? Not they want the you to find tank. this. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal it's got basic ah. orienteering capabilities everything holy uh okay this thing is losing its mind beeping like crazy i can hear it Wh what's it after i don't know i'm gonna go find out wait what uh so green light Target straight ahead, descend light, strength of source, tone source, 
Okay, so we want the green light. It's that way. And I'm so confused. Is it inside the tent? I just like head the head out or one sec let me just this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle I have to tell you if I found out this was NASA I'd be a hell of a lot happier desk Going on shot desk. Like this desk? Fair away. Oh. <laughs> Subjects Henry. Oh, great. And weak. Are you shitting me? Who's there? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? The stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, did, what does it say wow. about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> they are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Burn the... <laughs> Think about it. Delilah. What? Think about it. I hey, am. Shock, thank I you for the follow. Insane. Appreciate it very much. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain? Or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. My God, Delilah, no. No way. Well, yeah, you can't just burn down the best an idea. entire field yeah, because of that. Definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up. It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Back to Two Forks Lookout. All right. Appreciate that tip, by the way, without fully giving it away. Just saying desk. 